Hello guys and welcome to my thermal expansion tutorial on the aqueous accumulator. This is a very very cool machine that basically makes water. So if you've got a machine that's constantly overheating or something similar, this is the machine that you want to go for. It doesn't require power as you can see under here, it doesn't actually like have a type of battery underneath it. It can connect to either the build craft or the or the thermal expansion's own type of pipe, which is obvious. As you can see how the build craft it's sort of slow, while the thermal expansion really it's rocketing up. Now, unlike usually, you don't have to click the fluid pipe with a wrench. It doesn't affect it. This thing just automatically outputs it, which is pretty cool. And if you right click on it, you can see there's a little inventory that does, that basically you can't select anything. It only shows you how much water you have. Now it has the configuration, but by default it's set to just output on all sides. And it also has redstone control, which we won't even bother with taking a look at because it's pointless and easy, easy to understand. Now, if you put an uh, aqueous accumulator with only like one, like this, with one bucket of water, it's going to make water, but it's going to make it slowly. If you put down a secondary bucket, it's going to be making it a lot faster. So if you really don't have a space, rather just use one instead of three, well like two of them, because it still saves on space. But the thing is, you, if you put down more than two, it doesn't really matter, because this is all... It doesn't matter if you put down like four water sources, as long as there's two, you're good to go. So that has been, that has basically been it on the aqueous accumulator, apart from it having quite a difficult na name to say. And here you can see that the thermal expansion pipes really go a lot faster than the Boldcraft ones do. So if you need a lot of water, but you can use the golden pipes, then they are a lot faster as well. So I'm not saying any mods better than the other. Okay, so that has been it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video informational as well as fun to watch. I hope I'm not speaking too fast. I hope I'm not speaking too fast. Let's just say that all over. Because I'm really excited and this is a very fun mod to play around with. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Okay, this has been The Cold Project. See you guys in the next video.